Who hasn't paid the bill at the mechanics after having a strange check engine light investigated and wondered why your car just can't tell you exactly what's wrong? Well, now you can get your car to tell you what's bugging it using a small dongle called Fixed. I'm Erin from TechGadgetsCanada.com, and Fixed translates what your car is trying to tell you into simple, understandable terms, and then sends the diagnostics directly to your smartphone. No more mystery lights and no gobbledygook from the mechanic, just the information you need. I had a chance to test out Fixed on two of my vehicles over a couple of weeks, and this is what I found. There's virtually no setup required with Fixed. You will need the free app and to locate something on your car called an OBD2 port, which you'll find under the dash. OBD stands for Onboard Diagnostics, by the way. Now, this is a port not unlike one you'd find in your computer, just a lot larger. You'll plug the Fixed sensor into the port and connect your app, and then you should get a readout of exactly what's going on. So how does Fixed work exactly? Fixed reads your car's diagnostics and reports them back to you. It's not unlike the diagnostic computer your mechanic would hook up to your car for similar troubleshooting. The Fixed OBD2 sensor connects to any vehicle uh, with a model year after 1996 that runs on gasoline, and it basically acts as a gateway between you and your car. So how do you find your car's OBD2 port to plug in the fixed device? I used the device on two different cars and fixed says you should be able to locate the port easily under the dash, usually to one side or the other of the steering column. Now by law, OBD2 ports do have to be accessible to consumers in cars that are made after 1996. Now in both cases, I couldn't find the port. So I went on Google and YouTube and searched for an answer. Helpfully, I found photos and videos that showed the exact locations of the OBD2 ports on both my cars. If you do need help, you can use Fixed's Port Locator tool. It's available online and I'll make sure it's linked up below. I got readings on two vehicles, my 2010 Passat and a 2003 Nissan Pathfinder. While the diagnostics on the Passat were a bit disappointing, what I learned about the Pathfinder was both surprising and enlightening. The Passat showed no problems detected, even though I did have a tire warning light on. Maybe you're supposed to understand the simple lights? When I ran the test on the Pathfinder, however, it did have a check engine light on and it provided a detailed list of issues. It showed me the valve position sensor performance was a concern and there was also a knock sensor warning. But most shocking of all was that the fixed found the vehicle has had a major driving impact. Now, what exactly that means is a bit unclear. I couldn't find an interpretation on Fixed's website, but I trust it means it was in a major crash. Since it's a used vehicle, that could have been possible before we bought it. Either way, we've been driving it for about 10 years with no problems, so I trust it's no longer an issue. Fixed has the ability to read multiple vehicles, so you can use it on all your cars. You also have the option of clearing any warning lights on the dash, which is an excellent opportunity if those lights really annoy you. You can also have the app send you maintenance reminders directly to your phone if you need those kind of reminders. I can see this accessory being super handy and invaluable for people shopping for a used car. Now, no longer do you need to take the word of a salesman or wonder if the previous owner disclosed all the issues. With Fixed, maybe you can get a better picture of the car's current condition and find out some stuff about its past. I also like the fact that Fixed can tell me what's wrong with my own car, so I then have the opportunity to go and Google the car issues and learn more about them to help me understand so I can know if they're truly immediate and urgent, all without needing to pay that mechanic shop rate. Fixed is available for about $59 US from the company's website, or you can also find it on Amazon. If you want to read more about it, head over to techgadgetscanada.com. I've got a full blog posted there, and you can ask me any questions either on the blog or, of course, here on the YouTube channel. If you liked this video and found it helpful, please hit that like button and consider subscribing, since it does help me keep making more videos that I hope everyone out there can watch and enjoy. I'm Erin. Find me on Twitter or Instagram. Until the next time, I'm at Erin L Y Y C.